Hi friends, welcome to VTeach. In the last class, we have discussed per unit quantities, single line diagram, impedance diagram of a power system, and graph theory definitions. Under graph theory definitions, we have learnt about the definition for graph, tree, subtree, node, twigs, and links. And moreover, in graph theory definition, we have learnt about incidence matrix, incidence matrix, and reduced incidence matrix, reduced incidence matrix. Okay, there I have told you that these incidence matrix and reduced incidence matrix are similar to element node incidence matrix and bus incidence matrices, but there is a small difference uh, among these two. In this class, I will tell you about the formation of element node incidence matrix and formation of bus incidence matrices. I will tell you these two by taking an example. Okay. See here. So, for, for this example, we have to form two matrices. First matrix is element, element node incidence matrix element node incidence matrix and second one is bus incidence matrix bus incidence matrix okay so for this example we need to form these two matrices first we will see element node incidence matrix okay first one is element node incidence matrix see here element means see we can write element as branch also okay branch means we can uh, we can tell about the element as branch also no problem at all means those two are same means either element or branch these two are same okay there is no confusion in that and and node node means i already told you that node is the interconnection of elements okay now we have to form the element node incidence matrix see here in this graph in this graph we have 1 2 3 4 5 totally we have five branches are there so totally number of branches is equal to 5 wait a minute now i will tell you clearly see here totally we have five branches see i will draw the graph here this is the graph and we are representing with the branches here this is branch 1 this is branch 2 this is branch 3 this is branch 4 and this is branch 5 so i already told you that branches are also called as elements okay i think no confusion in that and nodes are how many nodes are here see node 1 2 3 okay here we are representing 0 0 means it is taken as reference node okay we will consider zero as reference node in power system networks in power system network we ref means we refer always ground as a reference node and re we represent that reference node with zero so zero is taken as reference node now element node incidence matrix for this graph so element node means first of all we have to take the elements elements and next is we have to take the nodes that is rows are formed with the elements columns are formed with the nodes okay rows represents rows represents elements whereas columns represents nodes okay that is the meaning of element node incidence okay now see here how many elements we have elements are nothing but branches how many branches we have here branches have we have totally five branches what are they this is branch one two three four five okay these are the five branches we have for the given graph how many nodes are here totally we have four nodes what are the nodes here one two three and zero which is called as a reference node okay so we will write the nodes here 
first is reference node 0, next one is 2, 1, next one is 2 and finally 3. These are the 4 nodes we have. And see here, this is reference node 0, this is reference node 0. Okay? Now, now we will see the incidences here. See, for node 0, that is for reference node, how many branches are incidenting towards and how many branches are incidenting away from the reference node? We will see here. Branch 5, 4, 3. three these 3 branches are linked with the reference node 0. Okay? Okay, with reference to 0, 5, 4, 3. These three branches are linked with reference node 0. First point. And next one is, these three branches are coming into the reference node. That is coming into the reference node. Means if the branches are incidenting towards the reference node, we will take it as minus 1. Okay, we will take it as minus 1. So, for branches 5, 4, 3, we will take the value as, see, minus 1, 3, 4, 5, minus 1. And what about the branch 1 and 2? We will write 0. Why? Because these two branches are not incidenting towards the reference node 0. That is why we wrote here 0, 0. Okay? Have you understood? See, here I am taking a reference node as a reference, first of all. And for that reference node, seeing about the branches, which branches are uh, incidenting towards the reference node. Okay, here branch 5, 4, 3, these 3 branches are coming towards the reference node, that is 0. That is why we wrote minus 1 here. And for remaining branches 1 and 2, we wrote 0, 0. Why? Because those 2 branches are not incidenting towards the reference node. Next, see about the reference node, sorry, next see about the node 1. See, for node 1, for node 1. How many branches are there? See, branch 1 and branch 5. For node 1, how many branches are there? Branch 1 and branch 5. These two branches are linked with the node 1. See, and moreover, these two branch directions going away from the node. Means, if the branch directions are going away from the node, means we will take plus 1. Okay? So, we will write plus 1 here for the branch 1 and plus 1 for the branch 5. And what about the remaining branches 2, 3, 4? We will write 0, 0, 0. Why? Because these 3 branches are not incidenting towards the node 1. That's we wrote 0 here. Okay? Next, see for the node 2. For node 2. For node 2, how many branches are interlinked? See, branch 1, branch 2 and branch 4 are linked with node 2. And what about the direction here? See, branch 1 and branch 4, branch 2 are linked with the node 2, where this branch 2 and branch 4 are going away from the node 2. That is, we will take plus 1. Okay? And moreover, this branch 1 is coming into the node 2. So, for that, we will take minus 1. Here, for node 2, branch 2 and 4 are going away from the node. So, we will take the value as plus 1. And branch 1 is coming into the node. So, we will take the value as minus 1. So, for branch 2 and 4, write plus 1, plus 1. And for what about the branch 1, we will take it as minus 1. Why? Because it is going, it is coming into the node. Okay? Then what about the remaining branches 3 and 5? We will write 0 here. Why? Because those two branches are not linked with the node 2. Okay? And next see, for node 3. So, for node 3, branch 2 and 3 are linked with node 3. Okay. So, for 2 and 3, we will write the values. And see here, branch 2 is coming into the node 3 and branch 3 is going away from the node 3. So, for branch 2, we will write minus 1 and for branch 3, we will write plus 1. And what about the remaining branches? We will write 0. Why? Because those branches are not linked with the node 3. Okay. This is how we form a element node incidence matrix element node incidence matrix see this is very important topic for your examination okay we ask the question uh, for 14 marks to do a element node matrix means he will give a problem for 14 marks to form a element node incidence matrix along with y bus okay 
Yes, I have understood this one element node. I think you have got an idea about means you have got a clarity about element node instance matrix after this lecture. I think so. Okay. See here. This is about element node instance matrix. Element node instance matrix means rows are represented with elements or branches. Okay. Rows are represented with elements or branches, and columns are represented with nodes. Or simply you can call it as buses. Why? Because I already told you that in electrical circuits we will take as nodes in graph theory, whereas in power system networks we will consider nodes as buses. For your simplicity, I told you that take a node as a bus. Okay? I have understood this. See, so columns are represented with nodes or simply buses. Rows are represented with branches or elements. that how we form the element node incidence matrix okay next see what is the next topic here bus incidence matrix okay we will go for bus incidence matrix see the same example here from this example i will uh, explain you about the bus incidence matrix also see here how many nodes we have here four nodes 0 1 2 3 okay for bus incidence matrix okay listen carefully for bus incidence matrix we will remove the reference node column okay what is that for bus incidence matrix we will remove the reference node column here what is the reference node here it is zero okay means we will remove that reference node column that is we will remove this column so finally we remain with this one means there is no reference node here there is no reference node there is no reference node so reference node is reduced here that is we will remove the reference node okay so if you remove the reference node from the element node incidence matrix then the matrix formed is called as bus incidence matrix okay that is it is remained with node 1 2 3 so these three nodes are also called as buses okay that is about the bus incidence matrix now see here carefully now i have explained you about the uh, element node incidence matrix and bus incidence matrix what is element node incidence matrix in element node incidence matrix for the given graph we will form the elements or branches as a rows means we will take the values as rows and whereas nodes are taken as in the form of columns okay for element node incidence matrix then what about the bus incidence matrix for bus incidence matrix we will remove the reference node okay that is zero zero node reference node we will remove the reference node okay after removing the reference node column and we remain with the nodes 1 2 3 here so the resultant matrix is called as bus incidence matrix okay in the examination he asked the question like this what is bus incidence matrix what you have to write means see removing a reference node column from the incidence matrix means element node incidence matrix it is called as bus incidence matrix okay if the question is asked for two marks means you can write uh, two to three lines for that means if the question is for six marks take this graph example and explain it clearly okay that is about the bus incidence matrix and element node incidence matrix okay and moreover in the last class we have discussed why bus formation okay by taking the node uh, kcl uh, explanation okay see we have already learned about this formation of why bus in the last class see this method is called till now we have discussed about the element node incidence matrix and bus incidence matrix okay once again i remaining the points of element node and bus incidence in element node incidence matrix we will form a matrix by taking rows as elements and nodes along with reference node as columns for element node incidence matrix whereas for bus incidence matrix we will remove the reference node which is called as zero means if you remove the reference node column then the resultant matrix is called as bus incidence matrix okay that is about these two matrices and that's it for the today's class thank you